Okay. Just getting things set up here. Stand by. Waiting for uh, maps and servers and whatnot. I just got the maps. So, the maps are as follows. First map is going to be Cinder, picked by FSG. Second map is going to be Olden. It is the pick, of course, of R. And if we require a tiebreaker, it will be Malice. And I think we're on two separate IP, so we'll head over to the first IP. Yeah, this is Sindom or whatever the hell it's called. Kind of looks like Condemned, but is different. I don't know why either, uh, Roomba. I will say, I played in an iMix yesterday against FSG, and they picked Cinder and uh, Final Hour against us. And, like, the iMix team, it was me, BNG, uh, Nuke, and. and Zero. And so. It's a pretty strong iMix team, yes, but we won both maps, and what I would say about Cinder when we played them here is they did not look very good here, I'm not going to lie. Uh, they don't have someone who can reliably play top. Uh, in the iMix, Putsy was playing top. Uh, he obviously lost to BNG, uh, but it was by a lot, and I mean really a lot. And it's not just as simple as BNG being a lot better than Putsy, which he is. Um, it was also due to the fact that Putsy was... I don't know what the fuck he was doing on top. He he literally never went across to take the back lift into top. He would, no matter what, run around to this main lift right here. That's, that's the only way he would enter top, if he uh, did not spawn up there. And also, like, if he... If Putsy spawned, say, here, he would just try to run all the way through lava back to this lift. If he spawned there or in Nook, he would not suicide. So, yeah, if he's going to play like that, it's going to be bad. That is uh, not the correct way to play. Um, and both maps, I will say, I don't know, FSG... We'll see what happens in this match. I think they're going to get absolutely wrecked. Go, before that iMix, I thought that FSG actually looked really strong. But after playing that iMix, I, I honestly think they're one of the weaker teams in the cup. I'm not going to lie. Like, we'll see. But they have really good frag power and things like this. But their IDOM knowledge and the way they play it is really quite bad. Um, it's just not correct. It's, like, really frag-based. And they're just... They don't take points. Like, like like final hour, like, their, their box players didn't rotate to help other points. And they didn't do it on this map either. There, there's not really any, any rotating or, or helping off points really stationary? I don't know. So it will be joshed on Nook here against uh, Cupid, I'm assuming. Uh, the, the other problem with FSG as well, their strongest fragger is Riven, and he always plays the 2v2 points. And he does not help other points, so that's an issue. So yes, Riven and Furry Man might win Lava here against Watercater and Murder, but I would anticipate... Well, they're for sure going to lose top by a lot. Putsy will lose to Ram by a lot. M maybe not as much as he lost to BNG, but he'll lose by a lot. Um, and... Q 
Cubit, well, Cubit and Josh, I think, will be relatively even. So I think Nook will be pretty even. Uh, FSG might very slightly win Lava, but I think Top is going to be so one-sided that uh, R should win easily. By the way, how's the music level? Is it too loud or too low or what? Should I... T how is it? Should I change it? I put it a bit higher while we're waiting, just cause. So I could uh, camera placement here on Cinder, where we can see multiple points. So, maybe the best place would actually be to put it up and around here, where we can kind of see Nook and Top. Maybe something like... Yeah, that doesn't work. But this is where we're going to put it. Bungie with the big fucking prime! I don't have my soundboard. I'd give you a brick fucking wall for that. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate all, my friend. So yeah, we're just waiting on uh, Riven, by the looks of it. And by the way, Olden, I did mention, is the second map that is the pick of R, will be Olden. And I think that is going to be unbelievably not close whatsoever. I think R is going to win Olden by a ton. 150 plus points, I would say. So, if FSG has any chance in this match, they have to somehow find a way to win Cinder, I think. And holy shit, Bungie with the two gifted subs. Thanks so much, man. That's awesome, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. Two gifted subs. They're going to murder. Why is murder in the stream? He's supposed to be playing. And, and Watercater also. Two people on the team of R getting gifted subs right here from BNG. Thank you so much again for that one as we await Riven's arrival here to get started on Cinder. But yeah, like I said, uh, prior to actually playing against FSG in that iMix yesterday, I thought they looked really good on paper. But after seeing how they play, I just, I don't, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I, I, I honestly feel like the majority of teams in the cup uh, should be able to beat FSG. And since uh, R is one of the top teams in the cup, I don't think they're going to have too much issue right here. But, I mean, we'll see. Anything can happen. I think Bungie, at Bungie, both maps in the IMAX played against Putsy on the solo point. I think over two maps, Bungie had a combined, God, it, 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 at near 400 points. Legit, like, uh, yeah, just complete domination. And uh, I think Ramjob should be doing something uh, similar to Putsy right here. So it'll for, it'll for sure be Josh and Cubit against each other on Nook. I think. It, it, water Watercater usually, yeah, so. Should be Murder Watercater against Riven and uh, the fur. The big fur, man. So, like I say, I think. Uh, I just don't see any way. Like, it, Lava should probably win here for FSG. Uh, I, I think Josh might be able to slightly edge Cubit on Nook, but it'll be close. So, I just don't see how it's possible. They have to somehow win Nook or Lava by a ton to have a chance, because Putsy is going to lose by a lot up top. Because they're, uh, like I said too, they, they do not assist each other, this team. Their Lava players are not going to be running through top. They will not be helping Nook, either. Let's start out with Putsy, see if he's going to play top again. I would assume... That is going to be the case. We're underway. He did get a good spot on top, so I'm just going to hold it briefly here against the the Rammer. And that was actually Murder up here. Where is Ram? He hasn't made his way up here yet. There he is. No, that's Cupid. Where is Ram Drop? Yet to see him. So this is a, a start putz he needed. Ram is still nowhere to be seen. What is happening? Is that him? No, that's Cupid. Is Cupid playing? Oh, maybe Ram Drop's on Nook. Ram Drop is on Nook. That's interesting. Okay, so let's... Confirm that. Oh, I just went by him. 
Yeah, so he is on Nug. That is, that's why I was getting confused. I just assumed Ramdar would play top here, but I forgot he does... He does like playing Nug here, so that changes things up in a way. Because Putsy has an opportunity to not get destroyed top this time. He is currently up 5-3 to three against Qubit. And it's going to be up to Josh to uh, stem the ram drop bleeding. But it is currently a 9-0 advantage on Nook here against ram drop. I was wondering what was going on. I'm just watching Putz. Like, where's Ram? Where's Ram? Ram seems really quick to the point. What is happening? <laughs> and it finally occurred to me that, okay, it is Cuban playing top. So that makes sense. And we're watching Ram and he's... Uh, not having any issue with Josh at the moment here. Finally, he is going to die. Does Josh have a point yet down there? No, he doesn't. Might get his first Dom point on Nug. He just did. Let's see how long he holds it. Alright, there we go. So we watch Josh. Let's check in with Riven on the lava. How is this battle going so far? It is currently a 7 point advantage for R early on. And. What do we got? We got nine points on Lava for FSG and five for Watercater and Murder. So I did expect FSG to win Lava with Ribbon and and the Big Fur, but um, yeah, that is what's happening. So, And it is top. Putsy doing well against uh, Qubit at the moment. 14 to 8. So... The lead is only four. They are FSG is winning uh, Lava and Top right now, so are winning the match simply because Ramdrop is winning so heavily on Nook. But that's the way she goes. They're winning two out of three points, but it doesn't matter because Ramdrop. But we'll see. That'll at least keep the game close if it keeps going this way. If they keep winning Top and Lava heavily, um, if Josh, if they perhaps see. Lava, if Lava was assisting Nook more here, I think they'd be in a better spot, for sure. Because that is where all the points for R is coming. So if they could throw Ram off a bit by helping out over there, it would benefit themselves. But like I said, they don't assist each other often, this team. Riven so wasted on Lava? Yeah. Well, like I said, Riven pretty much... Uh, Plays the 2v2 points from what I've seen for the majority of the time. So we're watching Qubit in that top position. 11 points to the 19 of Hutsey at the moment. See, Watercater is going to run through top here. Taken down by Putz, though. The big fur are holding. See, like, this is what I mean. The two of them standing in lava this whole time, they could have been rotating over to Nook, one of them. Send Furry Man, anyone over there, just to assist on Nook. But they won't. They, none of them ever leave their positions, and that's the issue with this team. As even still lava being held for now by Blue. And it is just under a 10 point advantage, but that is 10 points now. It's the lead slowly growing. Let's check in with Ram Drop on Nook again. Where are you, Mr. Ram? There he is. Let's watch some Ram Nook play. Taking out Josh there. What is it now? It's Ram 36 points already to the only nine of Mr. Josht. Did know he spawned there, but. Wasn't able to pick up the kill. It gets a good spawn, though. And the return kill on to Josh. Going to take Nook back. And you see Murder running through right there. And where is Josh? Nowhere to be seen. There he is. So 83 to 68. So the lead continues to grow here. And it's all Ram. It's all Nook. It's a shame, I, you know, I feel like this could be a lot closer. Because, like, look at top. Putsy's got a 10-point lead on top. They have... What do we got on lava? We got a... Da, 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 da. We got a... 5-10-point uh, to 10 point lead on lava. 
So top and lava winning for FSG. If they would just rotate and help Nook, they could actually win this map. But they will not do that. So they will just slowly lose. I think is what's going to happen here. And like I said in the beginning, I think... Um, I feel like they had to find a way to win Cinder because I really don't think they have any chance on uh, Olden. Ram is going to play top there and he's going to control top and mid uh, himself. So I, I see Olden being very one-sided on the side of R. We're just watching the work of Ram drop still here. Always doing a great job. 14 points on Nook now for the Josh 50. For Ram, what's the top out of that? 37 putts to 26. So still about an 11 point advantage there on top. But that's the way she goes. You can win two points and still lose the game heavily. <laughs> Let's check in with someone else for a bit. Let's not watch Josh get killed. Let's watch Riven for a bit here on the lava. He's going to stand in front and work these uh, spawn kills right here. He's, he did spawn. Oh, he killed himself! I was about to say, Riven's going to finally help Nook when he spawned there and he just suicided. Ay, ay, ay. And this is what I was saying before uh, the match started. Having played against FSG yesterday, that is something that stood out to me. They really do not uh, rotate and help each other. It's kind of, this is the point you're playing, and fuck everyone else. We're having up to 86 kills already. Unfortunately, that... Uh, it's not going to do anything as his team is down 40 points already because of the as blasting that is occurring in Nook. You see Ram already has a 40 point lead there. Like that's, that's where they're winning. 40 point lead as a team. It's all Ram drop with that huge lead on Nook. Like, Furry Man is standing back of Lava the whole time. Like, Riven could pretty much hold Lava by himself. He really could. You don't need Furry Man standing back here doing nothing. Like, if I were them, I would just put Riven on Lava. And just leave him there, because he's not going to leave anyway. And have Furry Man just send him over to Nook. Play two guys on Ram Drop at Nook. I honestly think if they did that, it would have been a lot closer. But it is what it is. Like, the, the map's pretty much already getting out of reach, and there's still 11 minutes left. So, not good. Take a look at this top battle for a bit now. What are we at? 45 putts to the... 43 of Cubits. So Cubits actually come back on top. He's only down a couple points. He was down by about 10 for most of the map. Red holds all three points right now. They're going to need to do that for a while. comes up the main lift. Rarely will he utilize the back lift, like I said. And that is the best way to get back to top. And you see both Lava players up there in support of Qubit. And that is just something that you're not going to see from FSG. They would do not support each other. And that's going to be reflected in the score. They have come back a little bit. They're down 30 now, but uh, that's still a pretty big gap. See <laughs> Putsy running all the... Oh, okay, I can't watch it anymore. I just can't. It's hard to watch. Finally takes top back. To watch Water Cater for a bit on Lava. What is Lava? They got uh, 27 points of Lava combined to Water Cater and Murder. And, the f and 54 for uh, FSG. So of course they're winning Lava, but not impactful. So let's just... Oh no! I went past Ram Drop again. I'm 
Josh picking up. What, what is the score at here now? On the Nook, 35 points for the Josh. And 77 already for Ram. See, Ram takes t uh, top on his way through to Nook. And that's what you want to do. Support all points and not happening for FSG. See, Nook was taken back by murder that time, actually. Yeah, it was hard to tell with Ram. I know he likes uh, Nook here, but... Often in Pugs, he, uh, he plays top here. I don't think I've ever actually seen him play Nook in a Pug, but... I think in their last match on Cinder, he played Nook as well, so... I guess that's their go-to setup on Cinder. Is Ram on Nook and Cube at top. And not much to say. This is uh, slightly one-sided, 30-point lead. Eight minutes left, map number one. And I could only imagine what Olden is going to look like. So to which side, who, who do you want to watch? What do you want to do? I, I don't know what else to say here. This is surprisingly the current battle for first place in, uh, in the, what are they, Group A, I think? I do feel that any team could, uh, take maps off FSG, though. Let's watch some murder. You're right, let's watch some murder. We gotta get some murder gameplay, and he's gonna run through Nook here. Murder actually has nine Dawn points on top as well, so you see the support coming in right there and that that's what you're supposed to do look at uh, Riven and Furry Man they have points on lava and nothing else because they do not assist murder spawning top frantically trying to get over here he does dodging down back to lava he comes trying to battle the fur dodging in three members there for FSG You beat FSG, yeah. Yeah, like I said, on paper, FSG looks pretty good, but the way they play, I honestly think they're one of the weakest teams in the cup, if I'm being straight up with you. I do not think they're very strong at all. They have the potential to be a lot better, but the way they play is just no good. It's the same thing like when we played them uh, like they played uh, Cinder just like they are now and final hour was the same shit like they had Riven and uh, furry man on boxes and Riven literally stood low by the spawn at boxes the whole game to just get spawn kills in that spawn room and neither one of the box players moved over to catwalk outside ever or to main catwalk they literally just sat in that room sort of like what they're doing here on lava it's just really bad it's just no team play okay let's that's enough murder let's see josh try to battle against ram I don't, yeah. Well, I think that's what they should be doing, Scream, if I'm honest with you. Although Josh does, I mean, aside, I mean, he's against Ram Drop here, so what are you going to do? He's going to lose by a lot. It looked like in the previous matches, Josh actually did pretty good on his solo. So, I don't know. Riven obviously, obviously has the best shot on, uh... FSG, but I guess the thinking is you should have your strongest fragger on the 2v2 point to support Furry Man. 
But it's like, it's here. Like, they, and they should have realized this from the iMix yesterday. Like, the majority of the game, Furry Man is just standing at the back of Lava, while Riven is, is spawn killing the front. Furry Man just standing there, with his dick in his hand, doing nothing. He should be rotating, he's standing right there, like he can just move over to Nook. I honestly think he should have just played Nook with Josh, and have Riven solo Lava. I honestly think if they did that, they probably wouldn't win still, but it would be, I guarantee you, it would be a hell of a lot closer than it is right now. Because it is not close right now. It's about a 50 point lead right here that continues to grow all map long for R. But Riven will break 200 frags, so I mean, hey, at least they have that. At least they have that going for them, I guess. Top, by the way, 85 now for Putsy, 78 for Cupid, so... Slight advantage for Putsy most of the game there, but nothing, uh, nothing near large enough to offset enough, though, that is for certain. Yeah, they should have just had Riven. He's basically solo lava anyway. Send Furry Man on a fucking patrol. A ram drop patrol. That would have been their best bet. Check it with Putsy again in the top out of goal against the Cubit. Putsy enjoying himself up here a little bit more than yesterday, at least. I think he gave up uh, about 160 Dawn points to BNG here yesterday. Oh, Ram Chop with a snipe from Nug. He couldn't tag it. Oh, no, it was still tagged. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It feels bad. Are they losing top? 92... Keep it 83. Oh, yeah, but... Oh, yeah. Because Murder actually has 13 points top, and Ram has 5, so yeah. Combined as a team, they are losing top as well, that's right. So the only point that uh, will be won here will be Lava for uh, FSG, which clearly does not matter. Alright, let's finish out the last minute with the Rammer. Ramming his gun up Josh ass <laughs> all the map long. Holy shit, what a blow it down here. 136 now. 62 Josh. And only 30 seconds left for this blowout to uh, complete. And let me tell you. I think Olin's going to look a lot worse than this. I think a 100 plus point victory is on the way for R on Olden. I do not see any world that FSG keeps Olden close at all. I just don't. They're going to, they have to put Riven top. It, I mean, it is technically the 2v2 point there, so Riven has to be top. I don't even know what you do. Maybe they should put like Riven and Putsy top, put Furry Man on mid, and Josh low. I guess that's the best thing I can think of for them there. I think we have to switch servers. But that is it for map number one. I actually do not have an IP for map number two. If Deckle or anyone is here that could, uh, or anyone in the captain's channel maybe that could uh, get me that. Uh, that one. Uh, 
Uh, we are currently in six, so I suppose I need three. Wait, so three... What? Uh, expected results, yeah. No kidding. Um... But wait, FSG picked IP6? I'm very confused. Aren't they like an all-German team? And Murder's team is picking the German server? What? It's your map on your server, right? Or is it different for this? Yeah, I need an IP... Someone could send me the IP for... The IP password for uh, IP3. That would be good. Waiting on something. It's sure a good thing Putsy stole away the fur man from OG. <laughs> it's, it's paying off big time. That should not be, it just shows, like, that game should not be as one-sided as it was. It, it's unfortunate when you really think about it. They just have negative teamwork. Like, they have less than zero teamwork, FSG. It is abysmal. It's so bad. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in any game mode, any game type, ever. Any game, any sport, anything, it, they have the worst most abysmal teamwork I have ever seen in my life. It is non-existent. They literally do not help each other at all. Ever. We saw we saw Riven spawn Nook and literally fucking suicide. We saw Putsy doing that as well. They it, it's just unbelievable. It's just so bad, it's unbelievable. It, it, it it's shocking to me how bad the teamwork is. But I love Riven. <laughs> Riven's my boy. I'm still just waiting on a sec- Okay, I have- I finally have the IP password. Okay, we're good. On the way! Whoop. That is the wrong password. Or something. That you sent me, murder. It does not work. Whatever you just sent me does not work. Okay, it's working now. What is this? What is this beauty looking map? Let's have a look. Was this a DM map? What the fuck is this? I've never, I've never actually seen this before. It's very small. First person to know what this map is gets another gifted sub from Bungie. You heard it here first. Ah, oh, we're off to Olden. We'll never know what this map is. Yeah, server is full. Yes, yes, yes. You can join now, Murder. It's okay. You forgot the name, Roomba. That's not good enough. 1v1 Sniper does not get the prize. I'm sorry. Judith, uh, I... Well, here's the thing. I will never know if it's the correct answer, so no one wins. I'm sorry. 
But I appreciate the answer from Iron. We'll give him the... We'll give him the badge of maybe won the challenge on that one. So, what does FSG do to not lose by a million here? Well, uh, there's nothing they can do to not lose by a million here, unfortunately. Uh, they are going to lose Olden really, really bad. Uh, I hate to call things before they begin, but like this is just such a, a lock. Not even going to be close. It's just, Ram is just going to dominate top so hard, and when you're, you control top here, you also control mid. If you're winning top, you're going to win mid. That is how Olden works. So, yeah, what do you do? I, I think their best chance is to put Putsy and Riven on top, Furry Man on mid, Furry Man just as a statue to tag here, basically. And hope they can control top in some way with Riven and, and uh, Putsy up there and have Josh on the solo against what will probably be Cubit. I think that is their best chance. It's good to hear they've had some practice on Roomba, but uh, beating Re here is uh, a totally. I mean, ours. Ram Drop is a different animal than uh, Re for certain. We're actually underway. Let's get over to the ram, trying to make his way up top. And it is Putsy up here and Joshed. So it's Putsy and Josh. So Ribbon just is not gonna help out against Ram. I am assuming Ribbon is on low. Or is that him over there? Putsy Josh oh, they are they couldn't put Furry Man on solo though, right? I was going to say that might be logical in a way if you had Riven mids, like their three best players on top and mid. Yeah, but no, Riven is low. Against some Cubit, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. So Riven should be able to beat Cubit pretty easily here. And they're actually have a good start to the map. They hold all three points right now. And Olden is a map where when you do not have control of top and mid, it is a bitch to get back. But they are going to get top back right here. Water Cater does. And let's just switch back to Ram. Okay, so finally now Blue has control of top. But you see, he did go down there and... Red gets it right back. This is a surprisingly good start. FSG trying to make me eat my words here. I thought for sure they would have no chance on Olden, but... We shall see. They currently have a lead in the match. Watching Ramdrop trying to control this backlift area. One coming up right now. Gonna switch his position. Josh had no idea. And that is where Ram is gonna station while they have control, it looks like. With uh, Water Cater holding the uh, front area. So Ramdrop does get top back. I have to say, Putsy and uh, Josh have done a good job so far up there. Who is actually sitting... Okay. I'm pretty sure Watercater is playing top with Ram. It's just I was confused because Watercater actually has 10 points on mid and Murder only has 6. But I think it is... Um, yeah, Murder is the one being the, the statue over there. And that's sort of the setup I was suggesting for FSG. You put Ribbon and Putsy up here. Right? You have Furry Man on mid as the statue, just the tagging bot. And try to control. And you see the rotations, this is what you want to do. Ram's not dropping down until Murder gets back. Now he's going to make his way back up. Because when he does that, he can just have Water Kitter watch it back, and he can watch, uh, and Ram's can watch this uh, small lift from mid as well, so. The lead has narrowed. It is a uh, four-point lead still for FSG. They've had a nice start. A lot of it's coming lower. You see Ram and Watercare are both assisting lower right now. Riven, 22 points over there. Cubit, only five. Cubit's getting destroyed uh, on lower right now. That is helping a lot. The Fur going to go down. All three points held here for R. And continues to be the case. 
Is Putsy gonna take down Ram and sh they should get Todd back, I believe. Riven's having a hard time getting back to lower by the looks of it. Keeps getting that dreadful spawn. Saw a bunch of suicides coming in there. Oh, Putsy with the kill before he could tag. Blue is actually in the lead now, by the way. All three points held by red, though. Ram's just gonna help low while he waits for that lift. Let's watch Riven for a bit in his low uh, domination here against Qubit. 23 to 7. So, I will say, it's it's been... It, there's still 15, almost 16 minutes left, but... To be honest with you going in, I thought it, uh, R would already have like an 80 point lead. <laughs> so, you know what? It's kind of nice to see this is uh, a lot closer early on anyway than I would have imagined. I guess one of those things, if Ram gets a, a good foothold on top, uh, the score is going to swing rather quickly. Nice spawn kill on to Cupid there. And it is starting to swing as top and mid being held for a while here by blue. Riven going to spawn top and run over there. That's nice to see he was trying to help out uh, his, his teammates there. See Water Kid are going to assist low. Two members of FSG over here. The fur is going down. Riven will follow and keep it back as Water Kidder is going to make his way up the back lift. Shoots Ram drop for good measure. And is going to take back top. There's Ram coming from the small lift here. One to contest with on the back. Josh going down. And going to help out mid here. Yep. Kills Furry Man. Lower. 30 to 13. Top. What do we got? Uh, 26 for Ram. 11 for... Water Cater to the four, no, yes, 14 of Josh and 11 of Pudsey. So 20, 26. So it's top is uh, blue is winning it. They're only up by about 10 ish right now. So not as big of a lead top as you would imagine, but we'll see uh, if that is the case at the end of it. Switch back to Ram Drop. Yeah, let's watch Punchy for a bit. They do have top control right now. And in fact, they hold all three points. That's what they need to do, as they are stuck 11 right now, but are coming back quickly. Holding all three points. See Ram coming across, assisting mid. Oh, Punchy could not pick up the kill, and down he goes. And it's a good spot to play where Ram is. You know when someone's coming up that small lift, because you can see the chains moving. So it's very easy to snipe off the person coming up that lift there. That's why when you have top control, it could be really a nightmare to get it back. Just such a uh, defender's advantage for the people who hold that top point and control it. Since Cater's over there, he's, Ram's going to come uh, control the uh, small lift area now. And can help out mid from this position as well. Mid currently down. Ram's going to jump for it, but the big fur taking him down. Have they rotated? I think Furry Man has started top, right? I think the FSG has actually switched to sort of what I wanted to do. I kind of wanted Riven up top, but they put Furry Man, I think, on mid to be the statue. The tagging bot. Yeah. Furry Man is the tagging bot. That's what you want. Josh and Putz up top. All three points held right now. By FSG, and they actually have brought it back. They're actually leading. They were down for a little bit there, but they have the lead back. And it's almost a 10-point lead now, so... I might have to totally eat my words about Olden. I did not think this would be close. Especially after what we saw in Cinder. And surprisingly, I believe Cinder was the map pick by FSG, and they just looked brutal there. Looking a hell of a lot better on uh, ours map pick of Olden here. Nice switch over by Putt, it's not going to work though. As, let's check out Ram holding top, going to go down to Josh on the back lift. And we 
could potentially get a tiebreaker map. I would be really surprised to see it, but it is FSG with a narrow lead right now. And I will happily say I was wrong about Olden if that happens. They're doing a lot better here than I ever would have uh, thought they would. It is back to a tie game though, but Red does hold all three until Ram takes low back here. Keep it going down, but Ram going to take off Riven before he can take that point, so low still held. And the fur is up top, but the fur is just moving around. Yeah, they're doing a... FSG doing proper rotations between top and mid here. They're working more as a team. If they had it, did this on Cinder, they would have had better fortunes, I think. But they're definitely playing a lot better now. Four point advantage still here. But two points held mid and top being controlled here by R at the moment. Ram gonna move over to help low as well. Nice shot onto Riven. Was unable to take. Ram did fall off though. So I'm assuming there's gonna be someone coming from the back lift right here. Ram's gonna try to catch up to them. Killed by Putsy from small lift though. 10 minutes left in the map, and R with a slight 4 point uh, advantage, but all 3 points held by FSG, so that is going to change here pretty quickly. Kicks off Putsy top. Looking to help mid, does kill Josh, he's not going to jump down for the tag. Just waiting for the point taking statue murder to get over there. Murder with 46 points on mid now. Watercutter's got 14 over there, and I'm assuming Ram has a point. He's got three of those points on mid as well. He's going to pick up Josh there, take top. Might dodge. Watercutter's probably going to dodge down and take mid, I'm guessing. They did tag it. Tie game, though. Lower still looking uh, heavily in Red's favor. Riven 57 points over there to only the 29 of Qubit. So this is actually uh, quite a good map, I must say. This is about as even as it gets. Deadlocked again. Blue with all three points momentarily though. And now they have all three red does. So this is really quite back and forth. It's gonna come down to the final minute here perhaps to see who's gonna win this one. Ah, uh, Putsy a good spawn up top right there. So we watch Ram Drop trying to attack back into the back of it. Putsy knows he's coming. See if he can pick up the kill here. And the one-on-one ensues. Putsy on him. And gonna lose that one. But the big fur is there to pick off the kill. And Josh up there now. The fur is moving back to mid. And all three points held by FSG, who has a five-point lead right now. Oh, Josh with a big pickup on a Ram drop from mid there, and yeah, Ram's gonna try to get control of mid as Murder struggling big time with Josh, obviously. And... Oh, Putsy, huge kill on a Ram, he could not tag. And Top still under the control of Putsy and Josh. They're actually... what are the points here on Top? 46, 26... To 29... 20. It's really quite close, actually. Top and mid are really close. And lower is being won heavily by FSG. Seven minutes left. 211 to 208 is the advantage for FSG, but currently blue holding all three points. Lower just taken back by Riven. See Watercater camping that front lift, so all Ram has to do is watch back. And that is what you want to do. If Watergator goes down, Ram's going to rotate back over like he's doing right now. Watergator's down, he's going to move back to the front. And Watergator's back, he can continue watching the backside here. And Putsy going to take him down finally. But that was a big point swing right there for R. They do have the lead back. Six point lead. And let's switch to someone else gets. uh... Watching Ram a lot, obviously. Let's watch Riven again on the low battle. 
Walker Cater trying to assist and does pick him off. 74 uh, points there on lower for Riven now, doing a good job down there. 35 efficiency for Q, but he's getting ass blasted down here by Riven. Nice pick off from Cater on top. And that's actually a good kill by uh, Riven right there on the spawn. Killing Murder before he can walk up the ramp to take mid, that's an important kill. Yeah, that's a good point, Uzi. And they've done a pretty good job of that, to be honest. Uh, they haven't allowed Ram to get a strong foothold on top for an extended period of time where he's really dominating top and mid. That is not happening. Riven's actually doing a great job supporting uh, this map. Obviously not in the way of tagging other points, but he is uh, killing people before they can get uh, to top and mid, which is very helpful, of course. So, really as a whole, FSG looks like a different team here on Olden. They have actual teamwork going on this time. So props to them for uh, playing a much nicer game here on Olden. Cinder was ugly. There's no two ways about it. It was it was hard to watch, really, the way they played it. But this, they're looking a lot better this time. Dead tie game still, by the way. This is unbelievable how close this is. Five minutes left. Watercater going to take mid. Oh, he can't! Joshed! Big pick up there before you can tag it. And he gets him again. That's huge. All three points held by FSG. See Watercater going to try to get Josh. He does kill him, but Putsy not going to allow him to tag mid. And some clutch kills. Coming in. Statue mid-tagging bot murder trying to desperately get back here. Here he comes. Oh, he does kill Josh. Oh, but he could have tagged the big fur. Coming in with a shot on a murder before he could tag mid. And it's still held by FSG. And upper as well. Fur master over here. Can't, Ram's going to drop down from high. They needed mid back. Murder has been unable to get over there. See if Josh can kill Murder. Oh, he can't. Watch Putsy attacking through. Big lift here. Backside. And Ram going to take him down before he can get up there. So, top is controlled again by uh, R. Momentarily. They don't anymore. Where the hell is Ram? I can't even find him. Here he is. Uh, no, R picked Olden. Let me double check, but I'm fairly certain. Yeah. R, or, R picked Olden, yeah. That's what, that's what I'm saying. It's like so surprising. Because FSG actually looks really good on Olden. <laughs> And they looked really, really, really fucking bad on Cinder. Like, really, really bad on Cinder. And they looked really bad on Cinder in the iMix yesterday. But that is what they picked. It's just weird how that works sometimes. Ram really trying to support mid and murder more here. In fact, is he just straight up playing mid now? They wouldn't think so, but he did spend an extended period of time there. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, because Scream did mention uh, FSG has played Olden in a match. Is that true? I can't. I kind of feel like I remember that, but I don't really remember who they played or what. Or if it was a scrim, maybe. I'm not sure. But they've definitely played Olden before, so. I don't know. Two and a half minutes left, and the lead remains for FSG. Are they actually going to force a tiebreaker? Which will be Malice, by the way, if we get it. And they might do it. They have a pretty good lead right now. They have about a 14-point lead. That's huge, with only two minutes left. What do you mean you want easier and older than they want older? Was it a scrim or something? Or did you play Olden in your match? I cannot remember. All three points held by R. Ram trying to control small lift. Helping off on mid here. They hold all three points right now. They're going to have to do that. There's only a minute and a half left. 
Can they make a big comeback here? 297 to 313. Riven with 101 points on low. 57 only for Cubit got. Ooh. Rough game for Cubit here. Ram's gonna help low. He does pick up Riven and take low. Desperately doing whatever he can. There's only a minute left. They do hold two points. And he's trying to get top, but Josh gonna pick him off. 358 to 304. Uh. So FSG beat you guys by that score here? That's pretty impressive, if so. I mean, clearly they're good on old end. <laughs> After seeing this, I would have... I mean, maybe R thought the same way I did. Just looking at it on paper, and the way we saw them play on Cinder, I would have... You wouldn't think old end they would be good at. Because they just had zero teamwork on Cinder. And old end, you need to really have uh, teamwork. To really control top and mid, especially. Uh, so you just you would think it wouldn't be bad, but it's just been the other way around. By the way, the lead is only two points with 15 seconds left. Can they actually come back here? They're holding two points. The lead is only one point now. It's tied. The game is tied with 10 seconds left, and they hold two points. Is R gonna make the miraculous comeback and win at the end? They gotta take top. They're oh my god, they did, and they won. <laughs> oh my god, it looked for sure like FSG was gonna win. They had a 13-point lead with only about a minute left. Good god, that was close though. The first map was not close, but that was that was a good one right there. So, for everyone who didn't know, FSG is pretty good at all, then. Anyway. That second map made it worth it. The first map was not the most fun to watch, but that was pretty good right there. Thanks for tuning in. Again, thanks, Bungie, for those three subs, man. Subbing himself and then gifting to others. Appreciate that a lot, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.